everybody, it's Kat with Katarina's Crazy Adventure, and we're going on a new adventure today. We are doing a floss tube video. Um, this will be my first one. I don't really know anything about doing floss tube video, but we're gonna just lay it out there. Um, you know, I see a lot of people with the stamp cross stitch like I have here. Oh, we got a new uh, table thing, which is still a little wrinkled. Um, marble color, uh, and, uh, so this will be different from the diamond painting, so, uh, I just wanted to try this, and, because I did cross stitch before when I was younger, uh, but it was counter cross stitch, this is pre this says, pre-printed fabric and dispensable chart reading, uh, so, it says it contains the cotton fabric, the cotton thread, the needle, and the instructions. Uh, these I got from Fan Cells. I'll drop these. Uh, um, the, I'll drop the links for it on the website. Uh, this is 14 count Ada that it's on. Uh, 27 by 26 centimeters. Ecology cotton floss. Uh, and that's the, uh, that's the part number, I believe, right there. So let's take a look. Let's see what it has. Hopefully I have you up high enough. Let's see. So that is not too close. But I could also sit down a lot, I'm knowing. <laughs> okay, so let's see what do we have. Okay, here, I don't think we're really supposed to show this on here. So, um... I don't know, people say you're not supposed to show the the chart because then I think people could try to steal it. I don't know. So let me just do that. Because anyway, this is printed on here. Okay, so now for now, what we see on the front. So this is it. It's pre-printed. It is not printed in the same color that the thread you're putting down is printed in. From what I'm, uh, from what the videos that I watched, um, so that's the picture. So as we see here, right, that's the orange, the yellow, and the brown, and then the green here. It is not reflected in that color here, which I guess is good. Uh, from from what I know of this, you um, you do the cross stitch, you know, or the half stitch, like it has over here. It has, I believe, a half stitch. Um, but then and the, and the other ones, you do the the X. Uh, and from what I know, once everything is completed on here then you wash it and all of this washes off all right uh so this i just want to see all right so it gives you the, ch the color chart down here which is what your floss is on here so as we see like number it says number one is 310, which is the DMC color of black. All right, so these are all your colors that are already attached to, which this is a great idea, because I used to do something like this when I was young with the, the counter cross stitch that I would, you know, poke holes and then I would put the, th the floss. They stole my idea. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> So it's got 22 colors, and then it tells you uh, the colors that you have over here in back stitching. So maybe we'll do a, a, a floss tube whipping chat where we could do this together and we'll learn together um, how this is going to go. Uh, so these are all the colors. All right, so we got all our nice fall colors here. Okay, let's put that aside. So there's the, the needle. 
we got two actually. Okay, so this is that pre-printed. And then I guess if you wanted to, you could always keep this. <laughs> and um, if you wanted to do later on like a counter cross stitch, you could follow that too, which is kind of good. So, uh, what I did want to show you was I got from Amazon, which I'll drop the link down below. I got that snap kit that everybody uses. I got an 8x8. Eight eight. I didn't want to get one that was too big. And I think this 8x8 eight eight is going to work perfect for this. So what it is, is it comes these four pieces, right? All right, so you're going to put them together. So let me put them together. All right. Nope, no. <laughs> Hello, Gabby. Uh, that one. And then this goes in here. Right? Eek. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Give me a minute. Why won't this one go in? All right. It's giving me a little bit of a problem. Hold on. Let me try it. Push it the other way, maybe. Let's see. Because it's not, it's not a thing with me if something doesn't go wrong, right? All right. Why is this top part not rotating? Hold on. Maybe it's got to be, hold on, hold on. I don't want to snip. I don't want to, mm -mm -mm. Maybe it's got to go the other way. Maybe it's got to snap in this way. <laughs> I know you can't see what I'm doing. Maybe it's just got to be rotated the right way. It seems like there's something stuck on the top that is preventing me from... Let me see. Do I have anything here that I'm not going to cut myself? That um, Because I see, see like there's this thing right this is like right there so it's not letting me close it maybe if I oh see if I really shoved it then that's what it did it okay so now what you do is a snap one so you take this off you take this off yeah this is gonna be fun let's watch Kathy fumble with this this is gonna be fun but Live and learn, live and learn, right? Okay, so I think what you do, so let's say we want to work on this corner over here. Well, let's just center it and let's see. Oh, 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 oh. oh God. Okay. We push it down. Okay. I guess, right? Looks good, right? I don't think we'd have to do. I don't know. The corners? I'm not sure. Let's see. Let me see. Like I said, I've never you I never used this before. I've always used like the hoop. So let's see. If you put it on here, because I like to have when I'm working on, I like to have it tight. So like I, I like it like if you do like bounce a quarter off of it kind of a thing so let's see let's see oh this is nice yeah this works I mean I gotta center it better maybe you know I'll see where I start but yeah that that kind of snapped in there really nice and then I know that they they sell these like uh, cushion thingies or whatever yeah I have all the terminology right at my fingertip not fingertips right up my mouth um so i guess you could adjust it and move it over if need be oh see so i could if i want to leave this here i could push it up let's see i could push it up and then i could work down here yeah there that'll work right so you move it around or I could do like that. Oh, see, there you go. 
See, we're learning, we're learning, we're learning. And it's it's still tight. Yeah, it's tight enough. Okay, yeah. Again, I gotta fix it better. But I like this. I think this is gonna work well. I think I paid for this thing on Amazon $5.99. It's an eight by eight. So but I'm gonna take it off because I don't I don't wanna Put it on here yet until I'm gonna start working on it. So we slide it right up. Yeah, let's just slide it right off. Let's slide it off. And we're sliding and it's not moving. Alright. But yeah, I guess I maybe I could watch a video of somebody doing that. Maybe I'll get better tips. And then I'll pass them along to you. You know who's really good with this stuff? Lovecraft Forever. She is like, she does a lot of these. So I maybe mean, should really watch more of her floss tube videos. Okay, so now it's all back together. All right. But yeah, this is really cute. Again, $5.99 Amazon. So, all right, so that's the first one. All right, that's the autumn, the autumn one. Remember, I bought autumn, and then I bought winter, which is Christmassy. So that put that over there. Okay. So again, it tells you that it's pre-printed. Blah blah blah. Fifty-nine forty. Uh, it's the winter one. And 27 by 27. Let's see, the other one was... How did I not put it back the same way? The other one was 27 by 26. So, it was a teensy bit smaller. So, this is the winter one. This is cute. This has got the snowman, the fireplace, and all the Christmas stuff. Again... Not really supposed to show that. There is your um, colors. All right, so you got all your DMC colors. Yeah, speaking of DMC, for some reason, um, the the di diamond painting that I'm working on, I, I'm very low on one color. I've never had that happen before. I think I might have to buy. So I need number five hundred. <laughs> all right. Uh, so it's got twenty colors on this one. Uh, and um, again, I'll drop the link down below on this one as well. I'm pretty sure they still have it on the website. So, here's what it looks like pre printed on the. Oh, this is a different one. Um, pre printed. Hold on. One of the colors is like not all the way down. So, again, not printed in the same color of the thread, which is pretty neat. It, it, to me, it's, I was talking to my sister about this, so it's almost like needlepoint, kind of, where, but that one, you're, you're, I haven't done needlepoint in a long time either, but you're, you're following what's on the, uh, what do they call that? The... It's not Ada, it's something else. I forget what you call it. Um, again, when I make videos, uh, everything that vo vocabulary I can't function, apparently. Um, yeah, doing this is like 9 30. Uh, so, uh, yeah, look at that. The print. Oh, that's like within the DP world, we call that confetti heavy. So, that and that will be confetti. No, these are pretty basic, all the same colors over here. Uh, and then, yeah, so you got the colors down here as well, and the DMT colors. Um, someone suggested don't really, you know, if you have oily hands or whatever, don't really touch this, because, uh, uh, then, you know, the oils from your hand will take off uh, the pattern or whatever. 
I don't have that problem, so it's okay for me to touch it. Um, so that's that one. Uh, it looks really pretty. I can't wait to start these. So these are the colors. All right. And it's a nice floss too. It doesn't feel like cheap either. You know how you get that that floss that's like maybe 10 cents or whatever. <laughs> you know, cheap. Yeah, I mean, DMC is cheap enough um, with the dollar something a skein or whatever, I think. But yeah, it feels nice and it's, it's nice. It's silky. It's I think it's a good quality. Again, I haven't cross-stitched or stitched anything in a long time. I haven't sewed in a long time. I used to sew, too. Um, I used to quilt. Uh, we just still have to put the back of the quilting on my one of my sister's uh, quilts. But, you know, you fall into these ruts where you, you know, you do certain things or whatever, and then you stop doing them, and then you get back into them. Uh, said uh, thing we're looking at right here. Uh, but this is a little bit different because it's not counted. You're following the... The, the color chart kind of so this is the beauty in the beast so this is the 33 by 43 14 count the other one was also a 14 count ada as well uh can't show you that uh how many colors well how many colors there's only three <laughs> Uh, because it's just black, then I guess, what, what is that? It's uh, like a gray color. What the hell? Oh, it's on two sides. Okay. Uh, so, it's black, it's all black, gray, and red. And then this, uh, like, pewter color. Um, yeah, we knew it was going to be all black. I guess we're just going to leave the the back. I mean, this is going to be easy to work on. It was much bigger, see? <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at the castle. Oh, my God, I love it. So the blue is number two. Okay, so the blue... The blue was number two. Oh, the dark blue. So the dark, so this dark blue is number two on the chart. So it's this color. Okay, so then the, the this light blue is the black, obviously. Uh, and then this, the three, is that garnet color or whatever. So what I was going to say is they're not making you do the white. You're going to leave that bare. So I guess it's, that's the look they're going for on there. I mean, I guess it'll, it'll look good like that. I haven't really done a silhouette, so I'm sure it'll look nice, though. But this one will be, like, really, really easy to do. I wonder if this one, I'll, I have a hoop big enough to put this one on instead of, you know, squeezing this on there. Um... But I'll see. It says Princess and the Prince. But yeah, so this looks really nice. I don't know if you can really see it. Yeah. So it's really cool. The, the beast is on the outline over here. And then the prince is on the inside. And there's Belle. We got all the roses. And then the castle. Beast castle. So, yeah. This is really pretty. I really like it. I think it's going to be really, really nice. So, all right. So this, again, was floss tube number one. Hopefully, I'll do a whip and chat floss tube, if that's what they call it. I don't know. I have to look. Um, learning as we go. So, if you want to learn along with me, uh, come back. And uh, I'm not an expert. I don't know much, but... I figured let's delve into something else and see, you know, we're always going to be with the diamond painting, but, you know, it's always good to try different things. I also want to try, which I talked about this before, I also want to do junk journaling, and I have a whole bunch of stuff picked out on Amazon, but 
I, uh, I am Mrs. Funzalow right now. Um, so, you know, we just came back from a vacation. So, <laughs> although we did go, we didn't spend everything that we budgeted for. So it was good. And we still had fun. We went out to dinner, you know, with friends, uh, old and new. Uh, the new friends uh, were absolutely the most genuine, fabulous people on the planet that you ever want to meet. And uh, I'm so glad that we met them. They're, uh, they're a food channel, not a food channel, they do food reviews for Disney. And, um, my husband, uh, talks to them, um, I, I don't comment as much, but, um, I talk to, um, the wife, I'm going to tell you, it's, uh, Todd and Michelle, and they're from, uh, traveling around Disney, and, uh, so it's Todd and Michelle, and, um, you know, I talk to Michelle on my own, Hector talks to Todd, you know, through, the YouTube channel and, you know, on Facebook or whatever. And, um, oh God, I'm having a senior moment where I just forgot where I was going with that. Oh, but he, my husband found them, started, uh, you know, talking with them. And then we all started talking, you know, back and forth. And then we told them when we were coming down and they're like, you know, if, you know, you guys could fit us into uh, your vacation, you know, when you're doing stuff. So we did. So we were able to uh, have a breakfast and then have a dinner. And it was great. And we had such a great time. And we find out we have uh, each of us, uh, like me and Todd have a lot of stuff in common. And Hector and Michelle have stuff in common where they don't like to be on camera or, you know, talk too much. But yet when we were at the dinner and Todd was filming, Hector all of a sudden jumped in, hi, you know, so, <laughs> so, but it was funny. So it was nice. So we had, uh, a good time. So, but yeah, like I'm saying, fun solo because, uh, you know, we just gotta start building up, uh, savings again which we have but i'm just saying we got to put back in you guys are like what is she going on about so anyway uh again yeah so i want to do the junk journaling and uh so i'll get that stuff soon enough uh so that we'll put out a video with that uh there's a lot of stuff on um what do i want to say on TikTok and YouTube uh, about junk journaling. So I want to check more into that. I'm going to check more into the floss tube stuff with the pre-printed things. So, you know, I could tell you more about that. And, you know, we'll be getting um, some more kits. Uh, and we'll see how these go first. But, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, so I'm going to put all this stuff away now. And uh, I hope everyone have a good week. I hope your week ahead is good and your weekend ahead is good. Tomorrow it's supposed to be freezing. It's supposed to be 16 below or the high or whatever. Or it's supposed to feel like negative. But, uh, and of course I have to go into work tomorrow. So, that's just great. So, no staying warm in the house. So, so what could you do, right? At least we got work. So, no complaining. So, other than that, I hope you guys have a great week, um, and uh, I look forward to bringing you another uh, Floss 2 video, hopefully in the near future. I'm sure next week we'll go back to a diamond painting one, probably a whip and chat. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it. I will let you go, and I will talk to you guys soon. Uh, love you guys, and... See you later. Bye-bye, jazz hands. Ooh.